Good morning, devotions for the fall. Today we're going to be doing Acts 3 verses 9, and I went ahead and underlined it in blue because the Bible reading journal series color chart indicates for us to delight in his word and obey and all of his commands. And there are two commands on this verse, repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. So we want to repent and turn to God. This morning's devotional says, You stepped outside onto your front porch and you feel it. There's something different in the air, a coolness that tells you that fall, a new season, has finally arrived. There's a crispness crispness to the wind that invigorates you as the burdensome heat of the summer fades away. Your spirit is revived. Our lives go through seasons just like the calendar. There are periods when we feel worry from the weight of our sins. The guilt and shame we carry are as oppressive as the heat of the southern July day. There seems to be no end in sight. And we find ourselves just trying to survive. That is not the life our Heavenly Father desires for His children. Thankfully, just as we turn our calendar page, we can turn from the heaviness of our former ways. Just like the first fall breeze, repentance will bring a refreshing new season into our lives. When we turn from our sins and turn towards Jesus, forgiveness blows over us like a crisp autumn wind, and new energy is instilled in us. And I believe that. The sky is a little brighter. The colors are a little bolder. And our steps are a little lighter as the burden is lifted. Walking in freedom with Jesus is as stimulating as that first fall breeze. So let us repent, be refreshed, and embrace a new season in Christ. So I went ahead and inscribed that verse in two translations than the New Living Translation and the NASB. The New Living Translation encourages us to repent of our sins and turn to God so that our sins may be wiped away. As a reflection, I wrote, it is a new season indeed. Let us be mindful of repentance or repent of any unconfessed sins today so these may also be wiped out. Our souls will be refreshed in the presence of the Lord every time that we repent and turn to him. Lord, help me step out in obedience today. I like to repent any of my unconfessed sins, Lord. Show me. Lord, I would like to share and repent any prideful moments that I have experienced in the recent past. And I would also like to count my blessings, which we all know is an antidote for discontentment. And I lift up a prayer this morning. So I went ahead and inscribed Acts 2, verse 38, 26, verse 20. Y'all can go ahead and inscribe those two verses and reflect on them for the rest of the day. You all have a blessed day. God bless. We'll meet at a later date and a different segment and time.